Ever pondered on the difference between iodized and non-iodized salt? The answer lies in a small but significant element, iodine. Salt in its pure form does not contain iodine. So how does iodine get into the salt? The answer lies in a process known as iodization. Iodization is a simple and effective method of adding iodine to salt, ensuring that it reaches a broad population. The process begins by spraying a solution of potassium iodate onto salt, which then absorbs the iodine. This process is carefully regulated to ensure that the correct amount of iodine is added. But why is iodine added to salt? Iodine is an essential nutrient that our bodies need for proper thyroid function. It's critical for the production of thyroid hormones, which control numerous bodily functions, including metabolism and growth. Without sufficient iodine, our bodies cannot produce enough thyroid hormone, leading to conditions such as goiter and even mental impairment in severe cases. In many parts of the world, the soil is deficient in iodine, making it hard to get enough from food alone. That's where iodized salt comes into play. It's an easy and effective way to supplement iodine in the diet. On the other hand, non-iodized salt is just that, salt without added iodine. It's often used in pickling and other processes where the presence of iodine might interfere with the final product. It's also the choice for those who need to limit their iodine intake for medical reasons. In summary, the primary difference between iodized and non-iodized salt is the presence of iodine. Iodization is a process where iodine is added to salt, a method that helps prevent iodine deficiency in the population. Iodized salt is an effective way to supplement iodine in the diet, especially in regions where the soil is iodine deficient. However, non-iodized salt is used where iodine might interfere with certain processes or in cases where iodine intake needs to be limited. So, the next time you reach for that salt shaker, remember the science and the effort that goes into ensuring that tiny grain of salt is not just a flavor enhancer, but also a vehicle for an essential nutrient.